CNBC TV 18 Young Turks Conclave 2015. You talked about how you tried to compartmentalize the fact that you're Abhish uh, Abhita Bachchan's son and uh, chart your own course in Bollywood. Is the attempt now at entrepreneurship, your effort to really find your own voice, to find your own feet, to find your own place under the sun, so to speak? No, I just love and, it. And why, why? No, I just love it. It's, you just um, love it? Yeah. And you have the cash? You know, uh, no. <laughs> no, um, actually I don't. Um, when, to be very honest, sports is something that I've been as passionate about as acting mm. uh, for my school days. I, I was a sportsman in school. Um, and um, I've always wanted to do something in sports in India because mm. I really feel our sporting culture is very weak. Mm -hmm. And there is an attitude over here that sports is just fooling around when I actually take it very seriously. Sure. And um, if you've seen any of the Kabaddi matches or football, yeah. I, mean, I get into it. I get a lot of stick from the uh, opposing fans, but that's good. You know, I think that, that's healthy for, to grow the sport. Mm. But um, when Kabaddi came about, Charu met me... Um, Two, three years ago, Charu Sharma, who, yeah. who conceptualized the Pro Kabaddi League, he said, hey, I know you're a big basketball and football fan. Have you ever thought of uh, Kabaddi? And very honestly, it was, it was a very left field kind of a thought. I'm like, Kabaddi, you mean people still play that? And he said, yeah, you know, you should go check out a match. So we went and saw a Kabaddi match mm. in Mumbai. And there were, there were like 5,000 people in a room like this. And it was exhilarating. I'm like, my God, this, this sport just needs to be professionalized. Mm. And he said, that's exactly what I'm doing. Would you like to come on board? So I said, uh, Charu, I don't have the means to, I mean, because our standard at that point in time is the IPL. So he said, no, no, we're making something a lot more... Uh, frugal. Yeah, frugal, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So um, put it this way, you know, uh, Yuvraj was bought for what, 16 crores yeah. this year. Uh, my salary cap for my entire team last year in the auction was 60 lakhs. So um, it was something which I felt, okay, I'll sign two, three films and hopefully I can do this. Um, I haven't asked money for my dad since I, uh, since I turned 21. So, um, and he was very clear. He said, I said, look, this is what I'm planning to do. He said, are you sure? I said, I believe in it. Uh, my gut tells me it's going to work. Uh, I have to give it all. Um, so I went out there, signed a couple of films, um, worked hard for them, made that money, and I run my team purely uh, through my earnings. Unlike some of my, you know, co-franchisees in, uh, in Kabaddi, they're huge corporates. I mean, they probably run Kabaddi in, you know, that advertising budget for two days. But this is like two years of mine, uh, you know, doing four or five films and putting it together. But I enjoy it. Uh, it excites me. Um, and you've had a great start. Yes, thanks, thankfully. It was a great start. We won the first pro Kabaddi league. So it wasn't something that, that was just lying around. It was something I believed in. And I really believe that's how you should start. I mean, there's so many people here that have started new companies and it wasn't like, oh, I have some extra cash, let me throw some around. No, you believe in your product, uh, you're passionate about it, and you, you have the confidence that I can make this work. I mean, without confidence, nothing's going to happen. So uh, that's, the, that's what I did. But was there no nervousness? Because as you pointed out yourself, your father had a disastrous business career. So was there no fear in your mind of wanting to get back into business of some sort? Well, if we were all scared of everything, I don't think anybody would be sitting here today. Um, there comes a time in life where you have to stick your neck out and just do what you believe in. I believed in this, and this is something I was very determined to make a go of. And um, yeah, my world came crashing down because we had our first match in Mumbai against Mumbai, and we got thrashed. And I, I, I went home and I was up all night saying, wait, what just happened? You know, I, if, if this goes like this, I've had it. Uh, but thankfully, the team was brilliant. They pulled it up and um, we won the first league. And uh, as of this afternoon, you know, um, not only have I covered my loss of, loss of last year in terms of my investment, I've, I'm going to make a profit. How big a profit is it? Uh, well, in, in comparison, it's, it's, I mean, compared to what some of these guys must be making, <laughs> it's meager, but um, one, two crore profit. Well, well, not bad. So, Kabaddi is done. Football is done. What's next? My original love in sports is basketball, mm -hmm. and um, I'd love to do something with basketball in India. Uh, I don't know if starting a league is the right way to go right now, or maybe get the NBA down. They were here in December. I had dinner with, the, with Adam Silver, who's the commissioner. They're very keen to do something with India. And now with um, you know, Satnam Singh, who's yeah. of Indian origin, <laughs> signing, being drafted by the Dallas Mavericks, it's huge. I mean, he's a 19-year-old kid, and you have to see, um, we follow each other on Facebook, so uh, it's actually interesting. He showed me photographs of his house, and he mm. literally lives in a shed. 
and today he signed with one of the biggest uh, teams yeah. in, in NBA history. Well, the great thing about basketball is he's got a lot of his work cut out. We don't have, every school in India doesn't have a football pitch mm. or a kabaddi uh, pitch. Sure. Um, we, they all have a basketball court. They play cricket on it, but there's a basketball <laughs> court. So, you know, your, your, your infrastructure is there. So, I think, um, not now, I, I would say another five years down the line, I, I, I do hope that I can try and make a difference there. And another thing which everybody thinks I'm joking, I'd love to do is to, is to professionalize Coco. Professionalize Coco? Yeah. I think I, I was seeing it on television on Doordarshan the other day. It's great fun, you know. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. I, it's, it's just a thought. Uh, but the first priority for mine um, in another two years, uh, hoping that the finances will still keep going the way they are in Kabaddi to start a women's Kabaddi league. Because mm -hmm. it's actually one of the few sports where... Um, if you see the Indian national team, the men's Indian national team actually trains with the women's because they're as good. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the few sports where um, the level of play is almost similar. So is this a conscious attempt at reinventing brand Bachchan? It wasn't initially. It was just something I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it started and it took off, it obviously makes you introspect when a lot of these people are going to start their new companies. I'm sure they do it out of love and passion. Yes. And then they realize, hey, wait a second, this is something bigger than what I, um, you know, visioned it to be. And that's when you introspect and say, okay, this is this could could be um, a repositioning or an emergence of a new brand. Um, I'm started thinking along those lines in this season. Um, I never did the first season because the first season you just wanted to work. Mm -hmm. uh, now that it's been successful by the grace of God, uh, you start thinking of how can you grow it. Yeah. Uh, how can you make it into a, a lucrative brand? So you start bringing a business model into it, um, which is uh, pretty much, I think, how any creative person would have approached it. I wish um, I had the approach of a, of, of a business house, which would have set up a business plan and a business model first. But in your model. mind, it now makes more strategic sense to go in this direction as opposed to Bollywood. For no, no, brand Bachchan. No, 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 no. So you're yet, not giving up on that? Absolutely not. Tough luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. So, um, no. Uh, I love making films. I love entertaining the audiences, the ones that get entertained by my films. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, that's, that's primarily what I do. This is um, my hobby. Okay, this, yeah. is, this is your hobby for now. It may be different a couple yeah. of years See, down the line. This is, this is sure. also, a, it has to grow organically on some level and it's Absolutely. going to become bigger than just me. Right now, I micromanage everything. Mm -hmm. You know, from what's going to go out on Instagram from the team to what, what they'll be wearing to how they're going to eat and what, what they'll travel. I micromanage everything with, with my manager, Bunty, who's here, who uh, manages the team with me. And we literally look into every detail. Every evening we get a, a, like a success report of this is what the boys did today and this is what they need. Um, there's going to come a time where I'm not going to be able to do that. You mm -hmm. have to take it to a macro level. You have to get in people who are going to be able to run yeah, it for you. Yeah, especially if you're scaling it up. Absolutely. All right, let me throw it open to questions. Uh, I, I'm going to come to you in just a second. The folks from AIB have been waiting here for questions. You're, you're already mic, so go ahead, Tanmay and uh, Ashish. If we promise to donate every rupee to building basketball in India, would you do the next year's roast? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, very honestly, uh, you all asked me this two years ago and my answer is going to be pretty similar. I don't need you to roast me. I roast myself on a daily basis. Have you seen my films? Um, having said that, and I think you all should start something newer than the roast, you know, let the Americans handle that. You all should do something that, because your, your brand of humor is fantastic. I, I, I would hope that you say, okay, this is what we want to do and I'll, I'll do that for you. So that's a no Done. to the roast, Tanmay. That's Done. a no to the roast. You know, I, I, think, I think the country he, said no to it a long he, time ago. Politely, so. politely I, no, 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 I again. said no two years ago to them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw it over to the questions. Yes. Hello, Bishri. Hi. So it's a gathering of entrepreneurs here. You did a movie called Guru. You know, I, I love that movie. Thank you. Thank you for that movie. Oh, thank you. You acted fantastically thank well you. in that movie. Like, how did you prepare being an entrepreneur? How did you read through the stories of Dhirubhai Ambani? Uh, well, I... Um, and how was the experience in that? The thing with, with Mani Ratnam, who is the director of the film, is he doesn't like his actor to come overtly prepared. So that was about it, you know. Uh, I wanted to make Guru Khan Desai very approachable. 
I wanted him to be very human. I didn't want people to look up to him. I wanted people to feel that they could put their arm around and say, Guru Bhai came to, you know, can you tell us this? So that was our approach towards him, to make him very human and tactile. Um, did I learn anything about entrepreneurs from that? I think the one thing that film taught me was, you know, go out there and dream big and just follow it. There's no rules. Uh, and if there's a rule, break them. But be lawful, guys, please. <laughs> Yes. Hi, Abhishek. My name is Mohit. I'm from Kashmir. How important do you th uh, think that the success that you had in some couple of movies and the failure you had in rest, how they have helped you evolve as a better businessman? How, how have they done it? So it's very, it's very simple. Success um, deals with you. You can't deal with it. You have to deal with the failure. And... Um, the kind of learning that you come out of from a failure is far superior to a success. All right, um, life is tough. Life is not fair. Um, a lot of you would have done stuff that hasn't worked, but you'll have come out stronger and better uh, entrepreneurs through that experience. The one thing it teaches you is what not to do, um, what you could have done better. Uh, unfortunately, in life, we only realize what we could have done better after we've done it. But what I've realized is that, is that when, you, when you do something and it's unsuccessful, uh, you'll come out a stronger person. A stronger person because um, it makes you resilient because you have to face it. And I've never tried to run away from any of my failures. I've made quite a few of them. Uh, you've got to stand there, take it on the chin and move on. And um, you have to learn to, to be able to improve upon that. And the inspiration should be, okay, I messed up. Uh, if I'm going to get another chance, I'm going to make sure I don't mess up. Well, Abhishek Bachchan, thank you very much. It's been an absolute, absolute pleasure, pleasure speaking with you. Thank we you. wish you the very best of thank luck you so much. Thank as you, you reinvent your thank brand. You. Thank, thank, you thank you very, you. very much for joining us. There you go. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. CNBC TV 18 Young Turks Conclave 2015.